early on in my career, I experienced a situation that reinforced for me that I'm in competition with no one else in life, that what is for me is for me. And I should focus on my own journey and support other people along the way because it won't take anything away from me. So when I first started working at WWL right out of college, I was a part-time writer behind the scenes. But my dream was to be Sheba Turk, Eyewitness Morning News reporter. I had the part-time job from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. at WWL. And I had a full-time job. I didn't even have a car. My mom had to drive me to my full-time job. That was at 8 a.m. and I'd work all day. Weekends, I was shadowing the reporters so that I could get better with my reporting. Hustler. I'm working super hard. I'm preparing to leave WWL to get my first reporting job somewhere else, get some experience. When my news director tells me that the traffic reporter position is open, it pays more money. It's a great opportunity to be on TV in New Orleans. So I want it. Here's the problem. There was another young girl at the station behind the scenes who also wanted to be a reporter. She was the favorite around the station. She was known for being super pretty. She was, she was tall, brunette, skinny. And I know you're gonna be like, she but you don't have any hips. I do. One evening, I turn on the TV and she is on reporting. So I applied for the traffic position anyway, but I'm like, of course you're gonna choose the person if we're in the same position who you're already letting be on TV. Turns out that that experience didn't go too well for her or the station. I grabbed the traffic reporter job and two years later, I'm a morning anchor at WWL, which was bigger than I'd ever dreamed of that fast in my career. The young woman who was the favorite didn't even work in TV anymore and had moved on out of New Orleans and on with her life. And to be very clear, this young lady was super sweet. There was no animosity between us. We were super cool. I feel like God, the universe, whatever higher power you believe in, was trying to remind me that there will always be temptation to compare myself to other people, to feel like I'm living in someone else's shadow, to feel like I have competition. Or another story, what is for you is for you. You're here for a reason and you have a destiny and a path. Know that nobody can mess that up for you. I think you can mess it up for yourself by bringing negative toxic energy into situations. Support other people, support other people, support other people.